some wind power experiments you can do with the uh, EMS, LabVault EMS system. First experiments that you probably want to try is to use the squirrel cage motor as a generator. You'll need to add uh, two modules of capacitors in parallel with it to self-start. After that, you probably want to use the one rotor generator using a variable resistance in the rotor to see that you can go over speed by adding slippage. But after that, you want to go to doubly fed induction generators. For that, you will need to add a few power electronics module, which are the chopper inverter control unit and an IGBT chopper inverter. You will also need to either monitor your uh, your data using a traditional metering. You'll need a wet meter and a var meter, or even better, using data acquisition so you can see what the waveforms look like. So I already pre-connected the 24 volts low voltage to the uh, modules that need it. I'll use the prime mover dynamo meter to drive the one rotor induction machine. To have control over its speed, natural thinking would be to use a variable DC source here, but I will need that DC source uh, in order to uh, feed the uh, IGBDs to get the variable frequency you want to inject in the rotor. So I'll go through the uh, thyristor speed controller. So I'll need to start from line in neutral into the power input of the speed controller. And because I use only the prime mover, it's a permanent magnet machine, it doesn't have a field. So I'll connect directly the armature I'll connect directly the armature to the prime mover input. I'll check that this works. It needs to be in uh, open loop mode. And here I should have a crude control of the speed of my prime mover. So this works so far. Now for my generator, I need to feed the rotor with a variable frequency and variable voltage signal. So I'll take so I'll take the output of the uh, chopper inverter controller, feed it into the IGBT module. I will use a variable voltage source to feed my IGBT module. With all of the switch in the on position, I will feed the three phase output in the rotor itself. I will use a Y connection on the stator. the rotor, which is the output of my generator. I'll feed that through the VAR meter, watt meter. I can't go back directly on the network. I need to go through the synchronizing module first, which should be at first with the switch in the off position. And 
back to the fixed electrical grid. To control the frequency I feed to my chopper inverter, I need to use a tiny wire from the DC source one output into the control input one. And then select the 120 degrees mode. It's gonna be a rough controller, but it's still uh, more than enough for what we want to do. Okay, to be able to properly synchronize, I need to be at the synchronous speed on my machine here, it's 1800 RPM. And I need this frequency control to be at zero hertz. This is the known points that I have to start the system. Other points could be found also. And uh, I already tested that to have a proper synchronization, I need roughly 15% of the voltage fed on my uh, IGBTs. The objective then is to control that as a synchronous machine would be. So you need the VARs to be always as close to zero as possible. This will be controlled with the voltage. And the frequency you feed here will directly affect the uh, active power you can send back to the network. And a little bit of the reactive power as well. The thyristor speed controller will act as a torque source. If we had three constant speed source, it wouldn't work together. It cannot be fixed electronic speed, fixed uh, blade speed and fixed network speed. So the flexibility here is produced by my thyristor speed controller. In real systems, it would be usually by uh, controlling in closed loop the frequency you feed to the uh, IGBTs. So let's try to start that here. Thinking here tells me that one of the phases is not connected in the proper sequence. So I'll fix that. They should all be together. So I need to properly adjust the frequency as well. So it did synchronize. Because we have a very true control over the frequency, it's just one, one hertz at a time, uh, then it's pretty hard to synchronize this. I see that my bars are close to zero, which is good. If my voltage is not set properly, it would be almost impossible to synchronize. Now if I try to put more torque, which is like the wind speed increase, or I change the pitch of the blades, I see here I'm generating 100 watts. My bars went up to 40, something like this, so I need to readjust that. And so I have a little slippage. Now, if the wind speed is going even higher, let's say I don't want to produce more than 150 watts or something like this. then I may need to reduce the speed I'm feeding to my power electronics to let the, the wind turbine turn faster. As soon as I change, I need always to readjust my bars. Normally an electronic controller would do that in real time. So I see now I'm producing 100 watts and I'm turning at 2045 RPM. Even higher. I see my production drop to 50 watts. It's because I need more torque on my blade. So I'll try to boost that as well. I 
the controls we have now are very sensitive. So I'm almost 2200 RPM. With the voltages available that I have right now at 2370, I'm barely able to produce roughly 10 watts. Uh, let's try to go the opposite way, which means the speed is dropping down. Here I have uh, 100 watts. 80 watts, zero bars at 17.10 RPM. Hundred watts, zero bar at 1600 RPM. And here I lost synchronization. So, Good luck. Thanks.